Good morning, grade 6. How are you all today? Hope you all are fine and staying safe at home. Again, with another English session, we are going to continue with descriptive writing. And today we are going to learn about two writing techniques called repetition and onomatopoeia. So you will be going to student's book, your book, page number 94 and 95 for reference later on. Now let's understand what do we mean by these two techniques? The first technique that we are going to look at is repetition. Now what is repetition? Repetition means using a word more than once to highlight its importance. So this technique is basically used by the writer to highlight something which is important. Look at this short video to understand. So students, what is repetition? Repetition is repeating of a word or a phrase in writing. The writer uses this device or this technique to create emphasis or put stress upon those words. Sometimes the writer wants the reader to understand that this word is important and there is a significance of it. There is an importance of this word. But how is the writer going to convey this message to the reader? He needs the reader to understand that this word is important and to show the importance of this word, what does the writer do? He repeats it. The writer repeats that word and this technique is called repetition. How does it work? Let's look at an example. The big stairs led up to a big house with a big front door. Now here in this sentence, the word big has been used three times. Now, why do you think that it has been used three times? Yes, because the writer wants the reader to understand that it was not an ordinary door. It was not an ordinary stair case. It was not an ordinary house. It was big. And this big is important for the reader to understand because it is going to set the mood of the story. It is going to set the tone of the writer. So the choice of word also not only helps in putting the impact on the reader's mind but also helps in understanding the mood of the writer understanding the tone of the writer and understanding what the atmosphere of the story is going to be so over here big has been highlighted so no, it was nothing worse and of normal size it was big big stairs big house big front door so there is importance I told myself I only have to stay for one second, be afraid for one second, not scream for one second. Again, one second. It has been repeated three times by the writer. So again over here, what do we understand? We understand that this one second is very, very, very important. In this one second, if the character is able to survive, then it means he's going to achieve something. So this one second was only that he had to stay. It was this one second in which he didn't have to be afraid. It was in this one second that he should not scream. 
so this one second is very important and the writer wants to uh, the reader to understand this and create the sense of thrill that this one second what is going to happen just one second so this is what is the use of repetition i can do it i can win the bet i can prove i'm brave now here the character is talking to himself and saying i can do this i can win the bet i can prove i'm brave so he again the use of repetition is here to create this image in the reader's mind and to show the importance of what the character wants to do so understood what repetition is basically repetition is to create the feeling of importance of certain words in the writing now let's discuss another technique used by writers and this is called the use of onomatopoeia now what are onomatopoeia the word onomatopoeia comes from two greek words which literally means name i make so what do you think comes to your mind when i say it is a name of something i make yes onomatopoeias are words that imitate or copy the sound they describe to understand this look into the next slide now look at these words pop drip hiss buzz bang what comes to your mind when you read these words sounds these are all sounds the sound the snake makes when it's moving the sound that comes from the bees the sounds when we slam the door all these are sounds so onomatopoeias are words that are basically sounds they are used as words and what are they used for these words to describe the sound that they make so whenever a balloon pops we say the balloon popped so what is pop pop is an onomatopoeia hiss the sound that is made by the snake so we say the snake is hissing it's moving when it moves it makes this hissing sound so hiss over here is a onomatopoeia means it is describing the sound buzz now what is this this is the sound that is made by the bees the bees buzz over here buzz is doing the job of explaining us the sound that is coming from the bees so it is again an onomatopoeia and same way when somebody slams the door loudly so we said they banged the door so banged over here is used as a sound to say that the door was closed with a lot of force so onomatopoeias are words which describe the word by sound understood so why do we use onomatopoeias onomatopoeias are used to create a dramatic effect in our writing how is this dramatic effect created look at this example the car hit the wall with a bump the car hit the wall with a crunch the car hit the wall with a bang now over here the three words bump crunch and bang are all examples of onomatopoeias now what are they doing over here what is the dramatic effect that they are creating what they are doing over here is they are not just telling the reader what happened to the car but they are also giving an extra effect and what is that extra effect it is the effect of sound so when the reader reads that the car hit the wall with a bump it not only just creates the image of what happened to the car but also an effect of sound that it you know bumped into the wall same way the car crunched into the wall so now it's different when it bumps it just you know hits the wall but when it crunches means there is more impact and when the car banged into the wall that means it was more forceful so all these words bang crunch bump they all create meaning of an effect of sound not only describe what happens to the car 
but they create an additional effect and what is this additional effect the effect of sound and the reader can imagine not only what happened to the car but also with the sound so this is the use of onomatopoeias in writing now let's review the topic of repetition what is repetition repetition is when one word or a part of a sentence that is a phrase is used more than once in the writing and why do we use this technique or why do the writers use this technique the writers use this technique to show that certain words are of importance and they need to create an emphasis about it so what we are going to do now is to understand and make sure that we have understood the topic we are going to do an example together in the next slide there is a paragraph we will read it together and then we are going to highlight a phrase or a word which has been repeated ready everyone tiger chocolates are a blend of different moods soft cream centers coated in rich milk chocolate rich milk chocolate that will charm and soothe you wills the spicy nut centers surrounded in that rich milk chocolate will take you to exotic worlds with finest ingredients from around the world tiger chocolates are the finest confectionery you'll ever taste the finest matte black box and amber ribbon hide a tempting combination of tiger chocolates tiger chocolates make the perfect gift particularly to yourself there's a tiger chocolate to suit you whatever your mood now did you find any words repeated i'll do an example with you in the next slide and the rest you will do it yourself okay now were you able to find this which word has been repeated here yes tiger chocolates tiger chocolates has been repeated like let's count 1 2 3 4 5 times so the writer has put an emphasis on the word tiger chocolates and has repeated it five times there is another word also can you find other words also or other phrases also do that yourself and let me know write it on a piece of paper and send it to me and let me see if you are correct okay now let's revise with onomatopoeia Over here there are two sentences and two onomatopoeias and you have to decide which onomatopoeia best describes the sentences given The window broke with a great dash the loud animals dash The onomatopoeia options that you have are roar and smash Now what do you think which one is going to be used to describe the sentences So let's check your answers now. The window broke with a great smash. The loud animals roar. Correct. So understood students, today's topic very easy, right? So what is our topic for today? We studied two techniques that the writers use to create more dramatic effect in their writing and they are repetition and use of onomatopoeia very good in the next session we will again continue with descriptive writing and i will explain to you other features of descriptive text till then goodbye